Alright guys, today I have a really interesting card trick to show you guys, and I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. All you have to do is spread the cards out to the spectator. They can go ahead and pick any card they want, and I'm not going to be looking at it, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the card. Hopefully, you guys can all see this. So this is going to be your card. Don't forget it. Uh, and the next thing you're going to do is you'd have your spectator pick a number 10 through 20. So let's say you wanted to pick a number like 15. So you wanted to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So from here, we have this random pack of cards. You'd go ahead and you could actually put your card anywhere you want to in the middle of this pile. So it does not, doesn't matter at all. This card is going to go in. And then if you guys are here, I would let you shuffle the pack as well. So you can go ahead and shuffle your card into the pack. And hopefully you guys believe me when I say it's mixed up. So I'm going to go ahead. There's no way I'm going to be able to know what card you pick just by looking at these cards, considering you happen to shuffle the deck um, and you guys put the card in anywhere you want to. So here's how the trick is going to work. So you'd at this point go ahead and tell me, um, you know, whatever card you had. So let's say your card was a five. So let's say you told me your card was a five. The way I'd start this off is I would start the countdown. So I'd take one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two. And we got all the way down to the last card. Remember, you guys shuffled up the pack. You picked any card, you put the card anywhere you want to in your card right here. The countdown is the five of clubs. So this is the trick guys, and if you want to do this, do not forget to stick around for the tutorial. Alright, so if you guys didn't already figure this out, um, at the end of the trick I actually had to know what card you picked. Um, so in the performance, when you guys perform this, the spectator will go ahead and tell you uh, what card they picked when you get to that point of the trick. But just bear in mind guys, I didn't mean to do this, but I did have to lie to you when I said I was just showing you the card and I didn't happen to see it. Because at the end of the trick, I actually forgot that I needed to know that value. So anyways, you'll see what I'm talking about. It'll make more sense in a second. But here's what you are going to do. So you go ahead and you're going to find uh, five different suits of cards, or I mean values. Um, so in this case, I used the threes, the fours, fives, the sixes, and the sevens. So you want to get cards that are in sequence, like three, four, five, six, seven. It makes it a lot easier to remember at the end of the trick. So essentially, you go ahead, you take out the four threes, the four fours, uh, the four fives, four sixes, four sevens, and then you have, so this is going to add up to about 20 cards, or actually not about, it's going to be 20 cards exactly. You go ahead and you can shuffle up these cards. Okay, it doesn't really matter what order they are in, they just need to be three, four, five, six, seven, and you need to have four of each of them. So this is your 20 card setup. The next thing you want to do is you take 20 more cards from the deck, and these are just completely a random 20. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So these are the 20 cards. And what you want to do is stick these cards. So this is the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is going to go on the deck here and then you place 20 cards above it so this is 12 random cards in the bottom you have your 20 cards set up three four five six seven and then you have another 20 random cards on top of that setup so this is the setup you're gonna need you can go ahead do a false cut or shuffle whatever you want to do just to make it look like you're mixing up the deck um, and then you're gonna have a spectator pick a card so but you want to have them you want to force any of these three, four, five, six, seven cards, because that is how the trick actually works. So you go ahead, you take any three, four, five, six, seven. So you want to spread the deck a little bit. You can go ahead and do that where you spread the deck and then close in about 20 cards and then re spread the deck. And this way, the spectator can only choose a three, four, five, six, seven. So they go ahead, they touch one of these cards. Okay, now at this point, you're not going to know what the card is. So the spectator is going to pick up their card, they're going to be looking at it, in this case, just for the performance, necess or just for the performance, I'm going to be showing you guys that this is the five, uh, the five of hearts, but now you would not know this. So the spectator is looking at their card, you don't know what card it is, that's face down, we have no idea. What you do is you tell the spectator, okay, so go ahead and pick a number 10 through 20, so that's why you have 20 extra cards on top of the deck. So they say, let's say they said a number like, like 16, you take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now here's how the trick works. So obviously you've already put and stacked up into the order the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7s. So when you force a card, in this case the 5, all none of these cards are going to be 3, 4, 5, 6, or a 7. So when you spread the deck or when you open these cards up, 
you tell the spectator to put the card anywhere they like, and they shuffle it up. So the spectator can really do all this shuffling, it really doesn't matter. So this is actually a really good part of the trick, uh, considering the spectator knows exactly what's going on. So they shuffle up the deck, that card is mixed up, and you can put the deck over here, you go through, you say, look, so there's no way I'm going to be able to know what your card is, considering you put the card anywhere you wanted to, and you shuffled it up. And what you're doing is you're misdirecting them, so as you're kind of spreading the deck, saying, you know, there's no way you're going to know what card it is, you're looking for a 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7. So that's how the trick works. All these cards are different except for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You spot the 5. You go ahead and you catch a pinky break. As you're squaring up the deck, cut that 5 to the top. And then from here, this is where the whole the self-working countdown method kind of works. And at this point, um, you could either give away that you know the card, but that doesn't really make um, the trick work out. Um, it doesn't really have a lasting effect as if you were to do this countdown method. So at this point, you tell the spectators, you act like you still don't know what their card is. Um, the spectator tells you, you, say, okay, what value is your card? And they say, um, they say the number, in this case it was a five. And what you do is you tell them, all right, so I'm going to go ahead from this shuffle pack, I'm going to count down to your card. And at this point, um, this is where it kind of gets difficult to explain, but let's say their five of hearts is on top. So the countdown works, you go five, four, three, two, one, and you count the cards. Now, considering this value is an odd number, when you start off with that odd number, so we're going to count to five first, so you just go and reverse the order, one, two, three, four, five. You're going to put these cards back on top of the deck, and then when we get to four, so we go five and now four, one, two, three, four. Now you move the even cards to the bottom. So you don't slam these back on top, you move these to the bottom. And then you get to three, so you take one, two, three, and because this was an odd value and the card they chose was odd, you put this back on top, you get to one, two, choose even, the card they picked was odd, so this goes to the bottom, and then you get to one, and on one, that's gonna be their last card. So this is what you do is if it was odd, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, redo the tutorial, and like let's say this was even. All right, so let's say they picked the four of diamonds. So you went ahead, you had the spectator shuffle it up, you, uh, you controlled, the four to the top of the deck here. They don't know that you've controlled their card at the top and now you ask them, okay, what value is their card or your card? They say four. So now what you do, since it's a four, it's an even, you count, you start off one, two, three, four. And instead of putting the even numbers to the bottom like you did with an odd card, you leave the evens on top. You take one, two, three, and now the evens go on the bottom. One, two, or the odds go on the bottom, and then one, two, these go to the top. One goes to the bottom and their card is going to be left on top so this is a trick guys I know it's a little bit confusing with the whole even odd thing uh, but essentially this is it's pretty much self-working except for having to uh, move their card to the uh, top of the deck from the pack but anyways this is the trick hope you guys like it and uh, if you're new go ahead and subscribe and if not um, as always guys thanks for She's a literal vampire.